So this game was the second of three games at this night. The game before this was the Blades against Canucks, which is a pretty good game. And then it went to this game and it was not. Uh, so I was actually using the factory mad pads here and I did the review of this. So if you saw it at review or watched it, you saw some footage from this game and the next game. The other team on here had a bunch of call-ups and they just dominated us. I played for this Blackhawk team in the summer and they're they're just not as good. They just had the call-ups who are just way better than what this league is. A bunch of them should be playing in the league where my blades play in, but some of them do, but they're just, I don't know. It was It's annoying when teams call out players who are just like way better than the rest of the league. I get you don't have enough guys, but it's, yeah, it just sucks. Like, I'm not going to go through all the goals here because there's eight of them and it's just like, what what's the point? The only thing I will say is obviously factory mad pads are not pads that are normally my style. I like very stiff pads with massive rebounds. These are very soft. These are totally different than that with like smaller thigh rises. It is great using these pads. It was an awesome change of things. And I really, I really liked how they feel because it just, they make you, it feel so natural on your leg and it really does make it feel like an extension of your leg versus like sitting inside a pad and kind of working around the pad. This, everything you do with your leg directly translates to these pads. So it's really interesting and really cool with that. That said, one of the goals at the beginning is 100% because of the pads I was wearing. And that's the, it was a five hole goal on the pass out front. Normally my pads have big enough thigh rises and stiff enough thigh rises that when I'm sliding across like that, there's no gap or the gap is super small. With these, it hit the pad, but it kind of moved because these thigh rises are super soft. You can see my video over there kind of showing it. It just, it is what it is. And it's not obviously my personal thing, but these were a demo pad and like obviously I'm not gonna get custom specs for a demo pad, so it's not anything wrong with them. It's just how personal preference. I would obviously order them differently, but I really liked using them and there'll be another video of me using them, which I don't think is quite the blowout this one was, but I got like a, a lot of use out of them, right? So that's kind of a good idea is how things play when you get a ton of shots and you just get peppered. So my glove was working pretty good in this game though. So that happens sometimes. I can actually catch puck sometimes. This was a decent example of that. So if you're buying hockey equipment and you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description. In the US, check out the links to Pure Hockey. In Canada, check out the links to Hockey Supremacy. If you click those links and make a purchase, I get a kickback from the sale. So anything that comes back from that comes right back into the channel so I can make more content and doing like real reviews and stuff. I got buy gear to do a lot of the tests for it. So that costs money and it would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check out the links in the description to Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through there comes again back into the channel so I can make more content and doing real reviews.
You're watching HockeyReviews.ca.